Hey, what's up? I recently made this portal animation in Blender and I thought I would just go ahead and show how I made the actual portal effect. So let's just add a circle. I'm gonna rotate it 90 degrees on the X axis. Let's make it a bit bigger. And then in edit mode, I'm gonna press F and just fill that in. Let's go ahead and apply the scale and the rotation as well. Now, basically, this is just made with a noise texture and a gradient texture. So let's add a noise texture and we'll just hook up this to the base color and the emission as well. And I'm going to go into material preview to see how this looks. I'm going to add a color ramp as well, just to do something like this. And with the noise texture selected, I'm going to press control T to get these nodes. And uh, that shortcut is from the node wrangler. If you don't have that add-on, just get it. It's free, whatever. And now we want to rotate this noise texture, but uh, we want it to be rotated more towards the edges. And we can do that with a gradient texture. So let's add a gradient texture. And I think I used the quadratic sphere for this, which if we press Control shift t actually, no, just press Control shift and then click the node. Yeah, there we go. Uh, that's a circle. It's uh, placed in the wrong... Uh, area though we want it in the middle so let's press ctrl t on this and generated is fine but uh, we're just going to move this i think it's minus 0.5 on the x and then same here but uh yeah minus 0.5 and now it's in the middle i don't know why it's 0.5 it just that that's what works and we can add a color ramp here as well just to make uh just control that a bit so something like that, we will adjust that later. But yeah, so we wanna use that to control the rotation. So if we do that, let's hook it up to the rotation, see what happens. Now we're kind of getting something that we want. We can also add a math node here and change that to multiply. And that's almost what we want, but not really. So we actually just wanna control the rotation on the Y axis. And to do that, we can change, well, we can actually add a math or vector math node instead so we can control each different vector and so we're going to hook up the color to one of these inputs and then change it to multiply connect that here and then if we change that it doesn't work <laughs> actually forgot that you need to change the texture coordinate for the noise texture to object so if it's generated it's not going to work properly but if you change it to object, it'll work. I don't know why that doesn't work or why it works, but uh, that's how it is. So now we're controlling the rotation. So the outer edges are more warped or more rotated and the the center is not actually being rotated at all, or it, it is, but it's not really being distorted. Anyway, let's uh, turn down the scale on this noise and then just yeah rotate this middle value which uh, represents the the y value something you can do is uh, you can add another or just copy this multiply node if you change this to add and then increase the y value it's just gonna spin without being distorted and this will control the the actual distortion and then you can animate either one of these and it'll look pretty cool you can also animate this one actually no if you change it to 4d and then rotate the or increase the w here that's just going to randomize it and if you spin it as well at the same time that looks pretty cool but then after this uh, last color ramp you can add another color ramp to change the color so i did something bluish let's try to recreate that so this last one, I think the, the last one or this um, rightmost one was like just white actually. And then I had one in the middle that was kind of bluish. So something like that maybe. And then something like kind of dark blue. And you can make it whatever color you want, but uh, that's what I went with. And I also increased the detail, I think, and the roughness a little bit. Now, some other things I did was to add like a glow on the edge and then I made the the middle darker so to do that we can start with the edges so let's add another gradient map or a gradient texture we can just copy this one actually and let's click Control shift on this one to see what it does 
And now we want some bright parts on the edges. So let's flip this gradient texture here with the color ramp and try to adjust it so it's only on the edges. So something like that. But then we want to distort these edges so they're not that uh, clean or sharp. And we can do that with a noise texture. So let's add that. Control T. And I think you generated is fine actually. Let's add a vector math node. Connect that like this to the rotation on the gradient texture. If we change this to multiply, that will kind of control the just how much it's being distorted. And then we can control this other color ramp from the gradient texture to see or to just control how much it's uh, going towards the center. So something like this is probably fine. And then you can adjust the, the actual noise texture to make it more detailed or less detailed. You can control the scale as well. So something like this I think is good. And now to apply that to the actual portal effect, we can add a mix color node. And I'm going to set that to screen. And then connect this edge thing in the B input. Now let's actually hook this up again. And with this factor, you can increase how visible that is. And if you want to actually make that a bit more intense, we can add a math node here, set that to multiply. And you can crank that up, I'm pretty sure, just to make it more extreme. So however much you want or however little you want. You could also change the color if you want. So maybe you want it to be bluer. I don't know. That doesn't seem to work. You can try some different uh, settings here. Color dodge looks kind of cool as well. But that's uh, the basic way to do it. And you can animate that as well by just changing this noise texture to 4D and then animating this W here, which would look something like that. And to make the middle part a bit darker, you can use another gradient texture. So I'm going to copy this one again with the color ramp. And let's check that color ramp. We want a dark middle, something like that. And we can connect that with a mix color node in the B input and set that to multiply. I actually think it's a better idea to connect it before the color here so that it looks more natural. This is looking kind of weird. It's just a black dot. It doesn't blend in as it should. So let's do that right here. Mix color node, connect that there and set it to multiply. Yeah, that's better. And you know, it's just a small detail. I think it looks pretty good. You can adjust it here with the color ramp to make that bigger or smaller. And to animate this, what I did was uh, I actually like using the graph editor here and I animated this noise texture. So I just hover over this and press I and with this noise texture selected, you can go here to the modifiers. And if you don't have that menu, you can just press N to uncover that or just make that appear. And then I add a generator modifier. That's pretty extreme. So you can change this X value to maybe 0.1 or 0.05. You can also animate this uh, add node that we talked about that just makes it spin. So same thing here, just hover over it, press I, select that, and then we can add another modifier to that. And in this case, you would want to animate this, the one value, which represents the, the Y value, which is what we want to rotate. So let's change this to maybe 0.01 or something more, I don't know. Maybe 0.1, yeah, that's a bit too quick maybe, but something like that. And then this edge texture or this edge effect to animate that we just animate this bottom noise texture it's a bit of a mess here but this bottom stuff is for the edge and then this noise texture controls the randomization of that so you can animate that as well just add a generator and you have something like that and that's uh, pretty much it you can increase the strength on the emission color and probably increase the roughness because you don't want this to like have reflection. 
but yeah, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, bye.